Okay, this is my first attempt at a video to show how I sketch. Sometimes I have a hard, difficult time explaining to people online. So this is a car that I've done, and I'm going to try to do a side view, elevated sketch of it to give the viewer an idea as to what the back looks like. I'm using a brush to sweep because when you brush with your hand, you leave body fluids behind and that can make it sticky, especially in areas where you want to lay pastel. So basically, I'm going to try to map out the car and my camera is over my shoulder being suspended from the ceiling. Like I said, this was the first time I've ever tried this. So what I'm going to do is sketch out my vanishing points in the back it's a one point perspective i'm going to give the car some ground tone here a ground line and i'm going to sketch in the rear wheel here and i'm sketching from my shoulder with a ballpoint pen and i think that wheel is a little bit too large for the size of the paper So let's see if we can correct it a little bit more here. Don't worry about the lines, they'll disappear as you start sketching. There's the front fender or the rear fender over top of the wheel and then the front's got a cut over this top to emulate the rear. So that's basically my car. Now I got a high styled fender here. I'm going to sketch in that line there. And the back is almost the same height, maybe a little taller to give it some direction. You want the direction pointing down, or you can have it pointing backwards, just never, never the same. Makes the car look too static. And the car's got some rear fender to it. I just bumped my camera, so excuse, I hope I don't make you guys dizzy. Let's see if we can station it there. I'm in my basement. I'm in my drafting table. I'm standing up because it gives me a better view. And it makes me not too, get too lazy. I want to sit there and my mind drift. Now, what I'm going to do here, because my perspective fades off, I'm going to lightly sketch the right fender of the car. So that's my hood right there. Then because this eye is closer, this is going to be a little bit wider here. This is farther away from our eye. So... We're going to give that the right rear quarter panel of the car. And since I'm doing vertical on the rear treatment, I'm going to give it a little indication that it's a, um, that's where the rear is. So since I've got the, the fenders really high and it steps down here with some styling in the middle, not in the middle of the door, here's another design aesthetic. It's not in the middle of the door. This is like one-third of the door, two-thirds of the door, three-thirds of the door. So don't do something in the middle because your eye will automatically divide that door in half. Sometimes you may want that, but it's generally in automotive, you never really do something right down the middle. So if that's coming there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lightly put that, that stroke line down now. The front or, or the rear one is going to be high here. Again, the rear two-thirds of the door is where that style line, and it's going to sweep forward to the front of the car. So I'm going to lightly sweep it and draw like the tire is not even there. Draw right through it. Now, since the surface cuts in, I'm going to lightly put the return surface to the side of the car so we're going to go up up the car into my surface detail and then back to the surface detail of the side of the car so that's way that's the way the door cut will work now the door cuts can act as section lines like in an old ship or even in an old building and the section line can really tell you what's going on on the car for the viewer now, since I have an arched hood, 
I'm just going to draw the center line coming up through here. I'm going to let it fall off there. So that's, that's my indication of my front. I'm running out of paper here, but I think we can get it done. Okay. Now the rear, the, the front balance is going to have that style line in there, but it's, you're going to see that cut out on the wheel arch. So we're going to cut in the wheel arch. And this is the rocker. Comes down here. And I've got it straight back. So we're going to act like the tire's not even there and just come straight to the back and wrap it around showing a little plan view in the car. Okay, I got some little detail on the rocker, so I'm going to indicate that here. Let's see, one, two, three, count them, Raj. One, two, three. Okay, the third one's going to be right there. Okay. This looks like it's coming together here. So, with your light pen, you can let these lines disappear, and it does add some interest to the sketch. It lets the viewer see what you were thinking, what you were trying to do. It just adds some interest to it. It adds some life to your sketch. It's not, nothing it has to be 100% static and perfect every time. Few of us are really perfect every time. So... I'm going to, instead of a deep dish, I'm going to choose to do a flat dish wheel. So, I'm going to, excuse me, don't mean to make you guys sick. Steady my camera. And then, I'm just going to indicate a little opening. Sometimes one opening can give you the, give you the feel of a hole. It can be fun, it can be contemporary. Even though my original car has had a wire hub, a wire wheel on it, I want to try something a little different. And it's okay to show a different view with a different a different style on it. Okay. Now, the trunk. Pretty much on formal cars, if my center line's coming through here, we're going to sketch it up over the roof. I'm going to get a low, sexy roof on a, on a big old four-door traditional car. And most formal cars have a bigger back area. And it's a throwback to the old days when the madame would be in the back and she would need extra space for her hats, her hair. So that's why you always saw cars with formal roofs would be more upright, hence the name formal. Let's give it a little plan view in the back like it's got a subtle peak, but then I'm showing that it's still got the tail fin there. So the rear window is going to be a subtle arch that's going to end at the trunk. So I'm going to bring this around, give it a little plan view. Again, I'm lightly sketching. This, this line will practically disappear once I get into illustrating. And I'm illustrating a white car on white paper. So all the details, like the glass and everything like that, that's what's going to really set the car off. Okay, now the windshield the cowl section of the car is going to be bowed a little bit. Keep in mind, cars that have bowed windshields, the more bowed, the more expensive the part, and the more distortion you have in the glass. And there are federal, United States, and probably world standards for distortion in automobile glass, and they want as less as possible. That's why you don't get fighter fighter engine side glass because it has to be distortion free. So we've got the we've got the passenger compartment lined up. We're going to give it a little thicker C pillar here, but it's going to be all body color. It's all going to be glass color. 
Now the windshield, the belt line, this is called the belt line, drops down inside the, now see I got it wrong. So let's pull this up more here. Don't even know my own sketch. Let's drop this down a little bit more. And then the fender comes up like this and up to the back. And since we have the tail fin, we're just going to chop it right like that. A little dramatic effect. Kind of looks like an old Cadillac. This rear wheel needs to be worked on a little bit more. Okay. So, what I do at this point is I usually find a mirror or snap a picture of the car and look at it in reverse because we as humans get used to seeing things in one direction and our eyes tell our hand to move it this way and it doesn't work. So, I'm sketching in my break between my door my front door and my rear door. This is the B pillar. A pillar, B pillar, C pillar. Station wagon or SUV would be a D pillar. Sometimes there's an E and an F, but that's a, another story. So the section line is going to come through here and it's going to tell the viewer that the body is bent. It's shaped in contour. Now we, we're going to tell the viewer also that this body back here is really chopped. So it's really vertical. Like the old Lincoln from the 60s. Got a little hip to it. So that section line is going to roll up and it's going to roll under there, but we're not going to see that, but I'm going to show the viewer that the door cut is right here. So it gives the illusion that that door cut or that section line, the section line here, line here, it folds over the, and then comes across the hood. Just like this. This, this point here and this point here are the same. They're the end of the car. But because of the perspective, this is staggered in. So you're going to see it go over the, the inside of the fin and then across the trunk. It's going to be a little peak in the trunk. And then it's going to fall off and fall into the valley and then come up the hill again. So sometimes you can add a taillight on there. And when you put that taillight on the other side, it will show, the part line will show. So I could do a whole end cap of a taillight. And you'd only see the tip of it over here on that side. So that gives the illusion the car has got some plan view and some crown in the body. So. This is pretty much the car. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the car a rear sunroof. So either way, whether this this roof is solid or glass, there's going to be a part line there somewhere because that's going to be one big huge piece of glass otherwise. So we're going to have a, a curved backlight. This is the, I used to call this the rear window, but this is the rear window. That's called a backlight. So we're going to have the backlight curve and come up over the roof. And we could put an elevated wing on there if we wanted or a performance wing that's speed activated. So I'm going to bounce around here and I'm going to come back to the shadow because this is catching my eye and I don't like what it's telling me. And then I'm going to put the shadow down here. Like that. So that's got the contour, the shape, remember? Okay, I hope you guys can see these because my lamps will kind of wash it out on this paper. So, basically what I do now is I come in and darken in my areas like my tires and my glass since this is a white car. White cars are fairly easy. So we need to decide on what color we're going to make the tires and the wheels and I usually try to keep them in the same family. So since I haven't done a well, this one is green. Let me see if I can do a blue. 
So basically, some of you guys will have ellipse guides. And these are very expensive and they're hard to come by. You have to usually buy them in a set. So you take your ellipses and you figure out which one yours is. It's going to be this one. You point that to the horizon if you want to get really accurate. Like that. And then this one's probably going to be around a 45. Let me see, let me see, let me see. There's a 50. 45 due to the angle now it looks like I sketched this a little bit too big but I should be able to pull something out of this like that and then like this And I can fudge those a little, and I'm going to fudge the wheel arch so it doesn't look like a race car. Or it doesn't look like a donk. Okay. Now, I'm going to lay in some color, and then... I'll build on that, whatever my mood strikes as far as... I'm using a Sharpie, but... Because the art, the art markers are very expensive. And they run out too fast. Sharpie can work just as good. You don't get all the nice colors. But I add... I add to it the sketch with some of the, the the nicer colors like yellow ochre and all the blues so since the the wheel arch cuts i'm going to sketch over my wheel and then i'm going to lay in my mark okay now, what I do is I work off the pad so I can rotate it. Because I'm a lefty, you guys are seeing this backwards. So I'm going to do a little sketching with my marker. Okay. I got way too much on here. Okay, guys, I tried to sit and think about what I was going to do, and I'm just going to go ahead and wing it and see what it looks like. Normally, I would re-sketch this over, but since I've got a little production thing going on here, I'm going to try to wing it and see what it looks like. All i got is a little time to kill. So I'm just going to come in here and, and lightly ghost in because I'm going to come back and hit it hard. You can fast forward through all this. And so one of the sketch techniques is just let the bottom, it looks like light is pooling at the bottom of the wheel. So just don't even sketch it. Just come over and just get, get all your dark dark parts done since we don't see the top of the tire we would normally show a little a little sun kissing on top of the rubber or even on the wheel so I'm going to take the shadow and pull it in here like this
I'm going to come back and hit this hard with the, um, the black pencil to give it some shadow. So we're going to do the same thing over here on the front, but I'm going to sketch in my, my highlight for the tire. I'm going to get that done first so I don't go over it with the marker. Then I'm going to sketch in my wheel arch or my flat wheel opening. I'm going to come down here and show that contour sweep which comes through the side, the main styling line of the car. Let that be the whole theme of the car, other than the, the blockiness of it, the formal fenders. We're making a nice formal statement here. Nothing razzmatazz. Nice subtle lines. If you look at some of the BMWs and the Audis, they're very sweet and subtle lines. They're very well thought out lines, but there's only one or two lines in the whole car. Again, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to avoid highlighting that bottom because that's going to give us the illusion that it's bright and the sun is kissing the bottom of that tire or that wheel, just like the top. So we've got sun going on. You can't see it on this one. Now some people will take another marker, a lighter marker, and illustrate this over here because it's technically, it's a little bit farther from our eye than what's over here. You guys are watching this backwards, but I am a lefty since the age of 32. I was a lefty. I am a lefty. So, we're going to, for the sake of this one, we're going to keep it all the same. We could come back with some powder or some white chalk and dust this whole area and make that lighter. We may do that. That may be a fun exercise. So, I'm sketching. The shadow. Now, the closer the shadow is to the car, the lower the car is sitting on the ground. So, most car guys like to have their car slammed on the ground. It just looks better that way. We're not worried about production or anything like this. We're just selling the whole idea of the car. We want the guys, your management team, we're going to say, yes, that's the car we want. We want that flavor on our next car. So, Let's see if we can get away with just capping this off here. Looking like the car is sitting on water or a puddle. Something like that. Okay. Now, for the glass, oh, by the way, put a blotter underneath another piece of paper. Because this piece of paper will get ruined. Even on vellum. And this is a piece of vellum. This is a piece of vellum. It's like an onion skin. And you can really sketch through it. It's, like, it's a sophisticated tracing paper. It's made out of um, cotton rag. You can sketch both sides. So you, you come in on the back side and you sketch it really dark. Let it dry. Flip it over and you have a muted blue. Then you come in with this and you have a super dark blue. And some guys will use this, but vellum is extremely expensive. And for what I'm doing, the fun I'm having, see it bleeds through. So the fun I'm having, I, I just can make do on, on, on newsprint. So, and this is a 19 by 24 sheet of newsprint. So I'm going to come through here and I'm going to sketch in. We're going to do a traditional horizon behind us, below us sketch. So. Because the car body is interrupted by this style line, I've got, or, or no, I'm sorry, I'm going to do the glass first. So, I'm telling you, the viewer, what the surface is the car is sitting on. So, I'm going to just going to sketch here. This is the ground behind the car, behind us. Think of the car sitting on the Bonneville Salt Flats or out in the Midwest. 
We're in a big, huge parking lot. And there's nothing there. Now, if there was a tree or a building behind us, you'd see a little blip of that in the, in the, um, in the horizon. Because it's a car, you're going to get two horizons. This is one section, and then this is another. Um, let me discuss a little bit about some of the terms and the reasons why we design things the way we do. Um, this is a, a, a two-box car. This is one box here, and this is another box on top. This is called tumble home. It's a, it's a marine term. It's the angle between the belt line, or the widest part of the car, and the center line of the car. So it's this curve, and you can see it in the side view sketch. Tumble home is right here. It's from there, around the top, to the center of the car. And sports cars and supercars are extremely aggressive in the tumble home because they're not really worried about passengers as much as are, are making the thing look cool. So we're worried about passengers here, and we're going to try to make the thing look cool. So what I do now is I come in and I sketch in my, excuse me for not being ready, um, with a black pencil, a black prism pencil. I sharpen it up nice. And I grab my sweep. This sweep is uh, ancient, but it works. I believe it's the number 19 ship's curve. And what you do is you find, find your pieces in the ship's curve, and you, you hit them. The pencil doesn't have to be that sharp for, for lines in the shadows, because you want them to be thick. We're going to come back and fill in that white there but in perspective this line is not going to be straight as much as it would be in in the real car so we're not going to show you straight lines that, that's a pretty boring sketch so i'm going to come in here now i could take the um take the sweep and hit this harder since I've got a different color than my than my shadow. If this were black, I wouldn't have to hit this that hard. So, here's a big a big technique. When you when you're sketching something that you can reach around, you should give it a darker line than something that's a contour. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to hit that like that. Then I'm going to hit the, the vertical rear like this. We're going to decide in a minute what to give the taillight shape. So, like that. Now, on the back side, on the right side of the car, because the, the, the trunk is sketched down or slopes down, I'm going to give it a little bit more prominence there. Now, if you were doing a body color, Say the whole car were blue, you could do that with a dark blue pencil. But this looks best when it's black. Again, I'm reaching around the car. There's nothing there. So then this is the right fin. Right there. And then we're going to do the roof. And we're going to pick that arch. And we're going to match it right here. Now you can also rotate your pencil and get another sharpness. Because the lead will be flat sided sometimes. And you do get a little ink cooperative. See how that works? It looks nasty. So we're just going to fade it off. Line weight is very important no matter what you're doing. Whether, whether you're going to put whether you're going to put color to it or just have it stand alone as a, a one medium sketch. So with the center line here, I'm going to I'm going to lightly curve 
that center line to give you that idea that that line is going to drop off in the center of the car. It gives you that that your gives your eye a little illusion. This needs a little crispness here. 